Hey, what's up boys and girls and cats? What's up? Uh, this is a Shunga build. Uh, more of like a sort of like a refresh build. I have a, a build uh, previously, but it's a little out of date as far as the item icons and focus. Focus Void Stone is no longer in the game, just regular Void Stone. But let's go on with the items. So uh, this is this is more like a support-ish kind of build, I guess you can say. Um, it's really up to you and how you want to interpret it, and you can also change items if you wish to. So. Uh, personally, I kind of like having greater sprint on Shangam, but if you are going with the more healer role, I'll definitely get Heavenly Agility to increase your heals. Um, that's just an option. Also, Salvation, um, especially get Salvation and Assault, that's, that's something you definitely want to get. Uh, and if you're also going for full support, definitely get Salvation. If not, if you're going just pure damage, it's really up to you. You can probably get Girdle if you want. Uh, it's really up to you and who you're fighting. If you're going against Ares and you're not too good at um, landing your two in time when he pulls you in, definitely get beats, but it's it's up to you um, and, and what role you're doing. Uh, besides that, we're going with Shoes of Magi, since it's more of a damage-oriented build. Next, we're going to go with Cronus Pendant. Since we're not getting the cooldown boots, we are getting Cronus Pendant in the MP5. Uh, since um, her one is a really short cooldown and Chronos Pendant, it really helps to have that MP5 to keep you more sustained in the team fights and help each other out. Next, Void Stone. Since we do not have any magical protection um, scaling, she will just stay at 30 during the entire match. It's kind of good to have uh, magical protection. If you do not care about magical protection and you just want penetration, I would definitely consider getting either Spear of Magus or Obsidian Shard. Um, it's really up to you on what you want to get with that. Obsidian Shard, you can get the stacks by comboing your skills together. That way you can get the max penetration onto one and or multiple targets. If you're fighting a lot of tanky people, I'll get 33% magical penetration since 33% will make a much larger impact if somebody's building magical uh, protection. So, moving on from that, Rod of Elispius, if that's how you pronounce it even. Uh, it's not bad even if you're going for a more da damage oriented build. It is kind of pricey, but also offers plus 75 magical power. Health is always nice to have. Movement speed works really well with your passive. Every time you use an ability or a dance, you get a short movement speed buff. Uh, so that makes you a lot more uh, slipperier. Also, the aura of increasing your heals by 15% and your allies, that's really good. You can also save your own self if you're not worried about saving others. Next, Route to Hoodie. I've been getting Route to Hoodie more um, earlier. If you're not playing Conquest, of course, you get as at your last item. But uh, let's say Arena or any uh, a short timer or a short span uh, match or whatever, I get Route to Hoodie as my fifth item, not my sixth, because those type of game modes, you don't really get to that point where you can buy your sixth item if you're not fed. Now, if you are fed, then you know you can get it whenever, whenever the hell you want. But I tend to get it earlier for more damage um, earlier in the game. Then Pyonom. You can fit this anywhere you want to or replace it. I like Pyonom uh, for that lifesteal. The lifesteal adds kind of on top of your uh, heals. So if you're to use your 3 on somebody and not only will damage them, it will heal you for the base of the healing and also you're getting lifesteal. So that works really well. And also the passive uh, is really good to finish off people. So let's go ahead and do some damages. As you see there, Polly does hit really hard. That is, if you're not familiar with Polynom, that is that yellow um, damage number. After using the ability, it does 80% 80, 80 of your magical power into your next basic attack. Like so. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot on over to Raw. Kind of use my abilities to get there faster. There we go. Sliding on way. So this would give a better representation of what you do to a god, and he's dead. Next we do our ulti, and that'll wrap it up. And he's dead now. Nice to see that combo is pretty deadly. So, that's going to wrap it up for the video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later. Peace!